No way. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, this thing. <gasps> the flowers. Is that real? Okay, the aim from that soccer ball though, the accuracy to like turn that thing on and have it go, that's insane. Number two, how did the steering wheel like turn, you know? Cause it was going straight. Wouldn't it just keep running straight? Like how did it do like a full U-turn? There's some haunted business going on here. Oh my. <laughs> oh no. That really freaking sucks. Imagine just like sitting in your lake home or like your cottage and you're having your morning coffee and you look out and you just see your freaking boat just floating away. <laughs> That's a bad day. You think you're having a bad day? Think of this moment. Yours ain't looking so bad, is it? What's happening? Did they willingly do that? Did that, why did that person think they had to go through with the luggage? First time at an airport? Like how, wouldn't you get hurt? I don't know. I just feel like that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> That's exactly what I was talking about. No, 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 over my freaking dead body. No, that's what I was talking about right there because I want them for the safety, but if I saw that in front of my home, I am burning my house down and moving to a different country. So. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, we got an elevator. You better not. <gasps> Ew, disgusting. Disgusting. Oh my God, now you're gonna go deliver it. You're disgusting. Oh, are you that desperate for food, sir? I'm sorry, but your lunch break can be done after. Can't believe what I'm witnessing right now. I'm just thinking about all the pizza I've ordered or anything for that matter, Uber Eats and being like, did the delivery driver pick some stuff off my meal? Like, you know, some olives off my pizza or something like that or some pepperoni, like, uh, uh, this would never fly in COVID times. Is that a bear? <gasps> oh my God, it's a black bear. Oh, the family to the babies. Stop. Oh my God. It's crazy how smart animals are. Like some, some animals. Like honestly, like that bear was like, oh, I'm gonna just open this door. Come on kids, get in. <laughs> Going on a road trip. They gotta be pretty freaking smart. Those babies were so freaking cute. I know that this is a probably very dangerous situation, but how cute. But like, how do you get them out? You can't go near them. And they probably tore up some of your seats just naturally with their claws getting in. Yeah, okay. It's not as fun as I'm making it sound. What's happening? <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You have to stop or go. Oh, that's a risky game. <gasps> oh no. Oh my gosh, what happened? Oh my gosh, I wanna Google this after. That's crazy. Like that thing completely derailed obviously and then just kept going, couldn't stop it. Wow, never thought I'd see that in my lifetime. <laughs> Stop. I mean, it beats an umbrella on a rainy day that you would get to work super quick because it's like running to work basically, like you're jogging. You would be dry. That's kind of genius a little bit. <laughs> you don't have to have an umbrella. You don't have to wear like a poncho. Your hair doesn't get wet. Your outfit doesn't get wet. And you get to work just as quick as if you would if you were just walking. I mean, that's pretty freaking smart. Not to mention it protects you. It's like safety. It's like an airbag. Imagine me rolling through the streets of Toronto in this thing. <laughs> The weird part is like, that's normal in Toronto. Toronto is just filled with so much crazy that this would be normal. If someone saw this, like downtown Toronto would be like, oh, cool. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. 
What speed? So are you gonna pick all that up or what? <laughs> I like how they went back for the second dump because the first one like they realized through their mirrors like oh that didn't work so they tried it again but it's like it was already empty at that point because you like dumped it all over the streets <laughs> they better have stopped and cleaned all that up i'd be pissed if that was in front of my house and they just like drove away 10 out of 10 confidence they did not and they just kept going What is that? What is that? I need an explanation. There's like this soft, calm music playing in the background and like the water was so beautiful and calm and then bam. But what is this from? That's terrifying. That's absolutely terrifying. I don't like that. That might just be as bad as like that weird crawling thing that happened earlier. What's gonna happen? Oh, sir, sir. Okay. Oh my goodness. Wait, how? These cars are freaking haunted. This is like the lawnmower thing. How does a car just reverse on its own and then go forward on its own and do like a three point turn with no one in the car? I understand when cars just like go on their own or you forget to turn it off and then it starts rolling. But this is like it backed up, stopped and then continued forward. Y'all have ghosts. You got some instant karma and it's coming in demon form and it's there. What's happening? Okay, I'm watching the car. Uh. <sighs> what? Oh, I thought we had another haunted thing on our hands, guys. I thought there was an imaginary wall or like a demon or a ghost and then they saw it and slammed on the brakes and almost hit it. Like that was trippy. I'm so happy we saw like a wire at the end because it's like it got yanked back all of a sudden or up almost. That's crazy. Ew, 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 I'm not watching this. What a weirdo, why did it pa okay, pause. I'm kind of glad it paused, but I'll continue because it's my job. People are so creepy. Oh my God, like I'm hoping I'm hoping this is like his friend's house and he's like, I'm gonna be funny and pull this prank on my friend and like just make out and do weird things with this thing. But I have a feeling that's not it. And I have a feeling that they're creepy and I have a feeling that they're actually into this moment and how dirty that button is, dude. Like that's disgusting. That's like licking elevator button. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, the poor man. Oh, he's just not letting go. Bless. Well, they, you do know what they say. The captain always goes down with their ship. So <laughs> my heart, he's trying so hard. And like, even when he's like, his body is dragging against the cement, he is not giving up. He's trying so hard to hold on to that and stop it. Are you hotboxing the fucking dryer? Damn, bro, I can't get no fucking privacy, bro. I swear to God, wow, when I want to smoke by myself, <gasps> I can't smoke my boss up. Like, what? So this is what this video is gonna be like. I had no idea what to expect, but <laughs> okay. Obviously, I'm not gonna have any kind of explanation for these videos, but that is the actual point. This is like the type of video, it's like, you can't make this shit up, okay? Let's not even try to explain what's going on. Let's just get through this together and see some of the weirdest videos on the internet, apparently. Like, what? A boat. Is this from like a TV show?
What did I just watch? I am traumatized after watching that. That was like a traumatizing experience. Why is that on the internet? And like, who is creating this? That's gotta be on some strange, wicked, dark web stuff. Cause I've never seen this in my life. Your problem, would you shut up? Would you shut your mouth? I wanna eat my fish. Shut up, I can't even think. What's your problem? Trying to eat my fish what is wrong with you. I don't have a problem. What is wrong with you? I don't have a problem. What's your problem? I don't have a problem. Can't you hear me? What's wrong with you? Can't you hear me? I don't have a problem. I want to eat my fish. What's your problem? Oh my God, I was like, how long is that gonna go on for? Cause I'm already getting annoyed. What's your problem? I don't have a problem. I'm just trying to eat my fish. Like literally that was, is that it? Is that the whole video, the whole time? I feel like this was some kind of like weird YouTube skit that someone tried to do. That was just, I could not listen to that over and over again. Honey man, I hate you so much. What about her? What? <laughs> I never waste my time with people who are muddy or inconvenient. I'm not muddy, it's dirt. I fell down a hill. This is so weird. This is so weird. Honestly, you know what this reminds me of? And hopefully some people out there can relate. This reminds me of like the projects you had in high school where you had to like create a music video or create a movie. <laughs> like that's, I think that's what happened here. And it's not good. Like you probably failed that project if that's what it is. Ew. It's moving. I don't like that. I don't wanna watch. Like, I really wanna look away. I don't like that. And how are they filming that is what I wanna know. That's creepy. Someone's got a mannequin in their house, some weird freaking tall mannequin and they're making it move somehow. I don't like it. I don't, this is why I don't trust people. You know, I just don't trust, I don't trust people. And this is why some weird stuff goes on in this world, you know? Hey, Michael, is that you? <gasps> Oh, that's weird. That's more creepy than anything. Cause it's like two like like floating eyes just came out of nowhere and then went away. And it's like, why are you so casual if that's not Michael? Cause if that's not Michael, I would be flipping out and burning my house down. Whoa. No, oh, I don't want to see something pop out. Please. Okay, there he is in the window again. <gasps> what is that? Okay, you didn't tell me this was gonna be a freaking jump scare video. Oh, God damn, I'm sweating. I literally just, oh, that just scared the freaking living hell out of me. What is that? Y'all, if you could feel my pulse right now, one of you would be giving me CPR. Like, this is no joke. That honestly scared me so bad. Let's all guess in the comments what freaking creature that is. Cause I don't know, that looks like a monkey to me. <laughs> the way he just like climbed out. Ugh. That's a semi truck in the middle of like a lake. What on earth? That is not even possible. Wow. I honestly wish these videos came with some kind of explanation. Like I know the point is like, we can't explain it, but I want, I need an explanation because now my mind all day is just gonna be spinning, trying to figure out how these are even possible. I'm stressed. Relax. Did I win something? My sources <laughs> tell me you've been calling Jack in the Box, Junk in the Box. So? I take these things personally, Brad. Get lost. Sure, just try my food, apologize, and I'll go. Beat it, clown! Listen, punk, my employees have been working their buns off to make the best burger shakes and fries around. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah, looking good, Jack. Ah... Uh... Uh, Try a thick and frosty milkshake made with real ice cream. Yummy, isn't it? Very yummy. Thanks. Be honest with me, Brad. What, what do you think the heck is happening? Really? You're not just saying that because I could snap your arm like a twig? No, no, I shouldn't have dissed your food, man. I'm sorry, Jack. Well, I'm sorry about the grass stains. Really? Jack in the Box? You're telling me this was a commercial for Jack in the Box? There's no way that business is successful after this commercial. <laughs> <laughs> You. Oh, oh. Okay. What? Tony, I think you are. Arriba! 
I have no words. I, I honestly have no reaction to this. I, I have nothing. I, I don't, wow, that was a lot to take in and absorb. The first like even seven seconds, there was so much happening. The throw up, the weird naked man, baby. And then there was just, wow. That, I feel like you gotta be tripping on drugs to come up with something like this. What's happening? Is this a magic trick? <laughs> is this a magic trick? What is this? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, I'm like, I'm scared. Uh. <laughs> Maybe this is a show that like people actually watch and it's actually funny when you see like the whole show. I'm not sure. But I think it was some kind of strange magic trick or something. <laughs> but I had a good laugh. I feel like I would actually watch this show. When Irish eyes oh, are nice. smiling, voice. sure it is like the morning spring. In the lilt of Irish laughter, you can hear the angels sing. Okay. Well, like you have a very nice voice. It's kind of ruining it with the whole mouth eyes thing, but like very nice voice. How do you edit something like that? I, like, how do you make, how is that possible? That's so creepy to me. I feel like this would be a really good like horror movie demon though. If you could take a mouth, even a human mouth and put it on their eyes, like, I don't know. I might be onto something here. <laughs> My mind's going to weird places because this is a weird freaking video, man. Hello. Hi. My name is Megan Amram and I will be singing We Built This City on Rock and Roll. Okay. We built this city. We built this city. Well, she was singing. What is, why? So she does that the whole video? She didn't even sing the song? She just painted her face with lipstick? Y'all, people are weird. People are trying to get views. I mean, I guess I'm giving them to you. You're welcome. An adult baby is somebody who enjoys dressing up and acting like a baby. And it could be as young as, you know, you want to be a six month old or you can go up to two or three years old. It's whatever that oh feels gosh. right for you. I associate most with being two years old because I think it's the best of both worlds. You're young enough to still be able to use a crib and a bottle and diapers and all that stuff, but you're also still old enough that you can get around on your own and talk and tell people what you want. Wow. You know, I thought I was a child still. Like, sometimes I'm like, maybe I'll just like feel really young because I sleep with stuffed animals every day of my life. I got a whole bin of stuffed animals right next to my bed. I love stuffed animals. I wear pigtails in my hair and people are like, you dress like a child. Yeah, I do. But then there's people like this. So like, I'm not that bad. I'm just like curious. It's like, do, do they have jobs? There's no way you could have a job and dress and act like a child. Or is this like they live their regular life, but when they're at home, he's wearing a onesie and everything. Holy. Star lives in Birmingham and has traveled the world in the pursuit of improving her appearance. <gasps> Okay. From Mexico and what Thailand to and Spain and Poland. Soon, she will be going to Turkey for surgery on her nose. After I've had surgery, I feel absolutely incredible. It's like um, antidepressants, euphoria of youth. Give me two months, I'll be selfie ready, and I'll be slaying. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, but she's so beautiful already. I was talking about this the other day and how even cosmetic procedures, like if you get Botox or a lip filler or something, like it can be so addicting because once you get it and you see results that you're happy with, it's like, oh, well now I want more. I can just imagine how addicting like something like that is, you know, especially if you're not happy with yourself and like to you, plastic surgery and stuff like that makes you feel good. Like you're just gonna always want that feeling. She's so beautiful. The 30 year old from Karnataka, India, has been consuming the unusual <gasps> diet since he what was 10. What is that, dirt? Uh-uh. Hunagundi -uh. claims to consume around one brick a day. Brick? As well as eating up to two kilos of mud and gravel. <laughs> the strange Look at habit everyone. attracts attention wherever no, he thank goes. Thank you. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. There's no way that can be good for you. Like, how does he even digest that? Holy. Wow. That's insane to me. That would taste so dry and stuff, too. Like, no thank you. 34 year old Nikki has a hardcore obsession with cornstarch. Cornstarch is my best friend. Daily, she downs two pounds what? of cornstarch. I cannot stop eating it. And lies to her husband about <gasps> the extent of her dangerous addiction. That can't. It's soft, it's very fine. It is so, so good. I cannot stop eating it. She eats up to two what? pounds of cornstarch a day. That's 3,300 calories daily from cornstarch alone. Oh my God. These are getting hard to watch. I'm trying to drink my coffee. I'm like, I'm getting like a little bit nauseous. <gasps> that can't be good for you. Nope. What makes someone love cornstarch? Like how do you just start eating cornstarch by the spoonful? It's like flavorless, is it not? Like I get it soft and stuff, but like super bananas. Addictions this in the world. This is the human Barbie. She's addicted to looking like a yeah. real life Barbie doll. She's the Ukrainian model is obsessed with Barbie dolls and she's gone to great Whoa. lengths to emulate the appearance of this iconic plastic doll. And wow. although she claims her body is purely natural and that she achieved her unproportionate waist size with good old fashioned exercise, oh, her plastic appearance is both shocking and unnerving. She literally looks like a Barbie doll and her addiction drives her daily to seek new and innovative ways to become a real life doll. Okay, she actually looks like a Barbie doll though. So we ought to give her that. I've seen so many of these human Barbie things. It's an addiction I'll personally never understand. Especially, I just feel like I'll never get it because I have such a fear of like surgeries and I can't even imagine getting plastic surgery just because of the process. Like uh, to go and have a surgery and then have to recover from it is like my biggest nightmare. So to choose that for yourself, like willingly, I don't think I could ever do it. It. I mean, she's beautiful nonetheless. If her body is natural, damn. Sydney Smith spent five years trying to elongate her own neck. She wore heavy rings that were custom made oh around her God. neck in attempts to push down her collarbone. Oh. At one point, she was wearing 15 rings around her neck. The rings weighed five pounds and she wore them everywhere. Smith doesn't know why she became addicted to long necks, but she went through what? great lengths to satisfy her addiction before she was finally able to overcome it. Smith claimed that her addiction was starting to take over her life. That's gotta be painful. Five pounds? Every single day? Oh my God, does that actually work? That pushes down your collarbones? I feel like that can't be right. Like that can't be good for your body. I've never thought about having a longer neck. If anything, I'd like a shorter neck. Some people Ma, suffer from more a very rare videos. disorder no. called Pika. This disorder causes them to crave and eat things that have no nutritional value. People with this disorder are compelled to eat some pretty strange things, but plastic <laughs> bags might be one of the strangest things around. A man named Robert from Oakland, Tennessee is addicted no. to eating plastic. He prefers to eat plastic bags, but if there are no plastic bags around, he'll eat anything he can find made out of plastic. Mm. That plastic would get like lodged in your intestines. Like how your body can't break down plastic like that. How do you digest? Like I'm just not understanding how people can have these addictions for so long and not be ill. One man from California has developed a very strange addiction to his inflatables. His name is Mark and he has 15 inflatable Oh animals. my goodness. He is addicted to his inflatable friends to the point where he never ever leaves them. 
He has been known <gasps> to cook them gourmet meals, and they join him at the table for every breakfast, lunch, and dinner that he eats. And while he loves them all, he has a special affinity for his yellow blow-up dragon. Her name is Leela, and Mark claims that she is the love of his life. Oh my god. It's like you want to laugh because it's so outrageous and unbelievable that you're like, are you kidding? Like, I can't take that seriously. It's like someone having addiction to stuffed animals, because I sleep with stuffed animals every day of my life. I got a whole bin of stuffed animals right next to my bed. I love stuffed animals, but as float, like blow up stuffed animals in a sense. What happens when they pop or deflate? Like, is that like a death? It's called a feeder addiction, and it's a strange addiction that involves the need to feed other people. Not to confuse with breastfeeding addiction, <laughs> feeders are people who are addicted to feeding food to someone, usually their significant other. What? A feeder feedy relationship is one between a person who loves feeding someone and the person who eats the food who is called the feeder. Feeders are similar to fat fetishists. Oh, oh. The difference being feeders are involved in the process of fattening someone, whereas fat fetishists are only interested in the end result. Wow, I didn't know that was a thing. Oh my God, they taking beer bongs like smoothies? What the heck? People usually try coffee enemas oh, as a way to detox, but some end up getting addicted Animals? to this practice. When someone shoots coffee up their rear end, the caffeine from the coffee is absorbed much faster. Oh, stop. And since coffee enemas mean filling up the large intestine stop. with large amounts of coffee, getting addicted to coffee enemas sort of makes sense. Some people have actually admitted that they spend several hours each day giving themselves coffee enemas. This is real. I thought we were kidding at first. I know people who have a severe coffee addiction. Like, I like coffee, okay? I like coffee. I'll have one cup a day, maybe two if it's one of those rough days. But people like enjoy having like a cup of warm coffee, you know? Like I feel like that's why I like having coffee more than anything. Putting coffee on my rear end, what the heck does that do for me? I don't get to taste it, I don't get to enjoy it. You'd be spun though. Uh, that sucks. Oh, my hair is just crazy today. <laughs> Wow, I'm guys, I started filming 15 minutes ago and this is the seventh train to go by. I'm gonna lose my damn mind. I'm gonna lose my damn mind. Okay, what am I watching? Three, two, one, this one looks creepy. Okay, take your freaking time then. My eye, what's in my eye? Get out. Oh my god, is something scary gonna happen? Weird, uh, weird. I hope there's no more jump scares. All right, number six. I'm so excited for this one. It's strange addictions, you won't believe. Oh, I love this stuff, it's so weird. Okay. I didn't even know they made them for adults. I need some chapstick, y'all. This cornstarch is making my lips dry just thinking about it. I, what is the average neck size and length? I'm curious to know. What is this airplane? Wow, sorry. I didn't know if that airplane was meant to be going that low to the ground. It is. It landed. 